Love stories in the age of Greek mythology frequently include passion, tragedy, and divine intervention. Join us as we take you on a voyage through the 10 well-known Greek mythology couples, each having a distinct and engrossing tale to tell. Keep watching! The first couple is Zeus and Hera, who are known as the king and queen of gods. Zeus, the supreme king of the gods, developed feelings for his sister Hera. Together, they gave birth to three children, the goddess of youth, Hebe, the son Ares, and Hephaestus. Zeus was also well known for having several extramarital affairs with both mortals and deities, which frequently led to the birth of children outside of marriage. Hera was renowned for being envious and vindictive, particularly in regards to Zeus's adultery. Despite their fabled disputes, they were always able to reconcile in the end. Next is Hades and Persephone. Hades and Persephone were a well-known pair of Greek gods. Hades was a great god of the underworld who ruled over the souls of the dead. As the goddess of plants in spring, Persephone stood for growth and renewal. The lovely Persephone was taken prisoner by the deity of the underworld, Hades, and she became his queen. Her yearly return to Earth signaled the onset of new life and the shifting of the seasons. Another iconic Greek couple were Eurydice and Orpheus. Theirs was a love that lasted until death. The renowned musician Orpheus set out on a quest to the underworld in order to save his beloved Eurydice. The nymph Eurydice was murdered by a snakebite. Her death devastated Orpheus so much that he set out to attempt and retrieve her from the underworld. Cerebrus, the protector of the underworld, was enthralled by his lovely music, and he was able to pass by him. He nearly succeeded, but he disobeyed Hades' order and lost her when he turned to look back. The sea god Poseidon developed feelings for the sea nymph Amphitrite. However, she didn't think much of him and ran to Atlas's island. After changing into a dolphin, Poseidon persuaded her to return with him. Triton is their son born after their marriage. Poseidon and Amphitrite had a tumultuous relationship at times, yet they were crucial in forming the ancient world. As guardians of the ocean and all those who worked with it, such as sailors and fishermen, they were held in high regard. Their story has been preserved for centuries in poetry, music, and art, which is evidence of their lasting influence. Thisbe and Paramus are known as star-crossed lovers. Young lovers Paramus and Thisbe, who were divided by walls, spoke in private and made plans to meet beneath a mulberry tree. Sadly, a string of miscommunications caused their premature demise. Another one of the most famous and enduring pairs is that of the goddess Aphrodite and her son Hermes. Both gods were renowned for their breathtaking beauty and strong hold over humanity. They were not only intimately connected, but they also frequently collaborated to have a significant impact on mortals, which added to their legendary stature. While Aphrodite would use her beauty and persuasive abilities to win over young men, Hermes would use his guile and wisdom to assist her win over mankind. As a result of the story of their relationship serving as a reminder of the importance that love may have on our lives, their combined influence is still felt today. Theris and Helen are another couple whose legend says the story of a face that started a thousand ships. The legendary Trojan War began when Troy's charming Paris fell in love with Helen, the world's most beautiful lady. The devastation it brought eclipsed their love tale. One of the most tragic love stories in Greek mythology is that of the deity Apollo and the Spartan prince Hyacinth. The sun god Apollo developed feelings for a mortal girl named Hyacinth. Hyacinth learned to play the discus from Apollo, and the two of them soon became enmeshed. After Apollo taught Hyacinth how to play the discus, the two of them were fast friends. Hyacinth was killed instantaneously when a blast of wind drove the discus off course one day while they were playing. Apollo was crushed. Apollo attempted, but it was too late, to use his heavenly might to revive Hyacinth. Eros and Psyche are yet another iconic couple. Given that Psyche was endowed with perpetual youth and Eros with immortality, these lovers were destined to be together from the time of their birth. Eros and Psyche experienced a strong attraction to one another, but ultimately strong forces outside of their control caused them to drift apart. Lastly, among the most formidable of the Greek gods were Aphrodite and Ares. Though they were often arguing and had a fierce rivalry, they were also incredibly in love with each other. Even though their relationship was frequently turbulent, they always managed to patch things up and go on. One of the most significant Greek myth couples is this pair because of the continuing quality of their relationship. Greek mythology contains numerous basic concepts that are embodied by Aphrodite and Ares. They stand for both intense love and strife as well as war. Though their relationship was frequently turbulent, it always seemed to lead to a greater comprehension between the two gods. They became one of the most significant couples because of this. If you love watching the video, do not forget to leave a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to our channel for more such interesting videos. Until next time, see ya!